Hey guys, this is Pastor Barrett. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to check in with you, see how 2020 is going for you so far. Uh, if you were with us this past Sunday, uh, you would have picked up one of our Bible reading plans for 2020. This is basically a reading plan that we are going to do as a church uh, throughout this entire year. And it just breaks down the, uh, the Old Testament, the New Testament in a uh, manageable way to uh, read through the entire Bible in 2020. And so we're doing this together as a church. Today's January 9th, so we're nine days into the reading plan already. Some of you might be a little overwhelmed because you, you feel like you may have fallen behind. Um, if you're like me, uh, sometimes I find myself reading the scriptures and I find myself doing it just to check off a box on the reading plan. So today I wanted to make a quick video to give you five uh, tips to enhance your Bible study. Because I don't want to just read scripture just to read it. I actually want to read it and get something out of it. I want to grow in my faith and I want you to do the same. So I want to give you guys five uh, quick tips that will help you enhance your Bible study as you're reading it. That way you're not just going through the motions uh, each day whenever you're checking off the different chapters you read on the Bible reading plan. So the very first thing that you can do to enhance your Bible uh, study is pray. Uh, before you open the Bible, uh, just spend some time in some quality uh, prayer. You know, ask God to give you focus uh, on what you're reading. Ask God to just make you more aware uh, of what he's trying to tell you as you read his word. God's word, as we uh, talked about on Sunday, is something that has been preserved for you and I uh, to read uh, so that we can not only know uh, about the, the events of the Bible, but know about God himself. We learn so much about who God is, who his character is, and then how he's asking us to change and become more like him. So as you begin your Bible study, uh, spend time in prayer. And you'll find that uh, through prayer, you'll have more focus. You'll be more attentive to what God is trying to tell you as you read. That way you're not just reading something to check off a box. The second thing that you can do is listen. Uh, many people, they will start a Bible reading plan and they'll basically just uh, thumb through a Bible and read and check off a box and, and that'll be it. Uh, some of you might be listening to an audio Bible while you're in your car, and which is great. But I'd encourage you, not only just read the Bible, but also listen to it. The Bible was originally written in such a way that it would be uh, read aloud uh, whenever the church gathered together. The Bible, you know, when it was originally written, wasn't something that was easily copied and something that anybody, not, not just everybody, would have in their home. It's something that was read aloud when they gathered together. So uh, listen to it as well. You might pick up things that you wouldn't pick up while you're reading it with your eyes, but just listen to the words and uh, see how they resonate with you and, and, and see what you hear God saying uh, through the words of just listening. And if you're one of those that you all you do is listen to the audio Bible, I'd encourage you to pick up a physical copy as well or use your phone app, whatever you use to read your scripture on, and uh, just look at it from time to time. It's great to uh, see Bible um, physically and uh, audi audibly as well. The third thing that I'd tell you to do uh, whenever you're studying the Bible, and if you want to enhance your Bible study, is to get a good, solid study Bible. My study Bible of choice is the ESV uh, study Bible. You can pick one of these up on Amazon uh, for probably around $30, $35. And uh, what you get is more than just the text itself. You get uh, study notes at the bottom of each page of the Bible. And this just gives you an enhanced look at some of the things that are going on uh, within the scripture. There are things that are going on that might confuse you, uh, things that uh, you might look at and say, oh, okay, um, you know, I, I'm not really sure why I need to know some of these facts. But the Study Bible will kind of shed some light on those things and kind of give you some pointers on uh, where cross-references are. Uh, you know, it'll give you some better context. Uh, if, you, if you start a new book in the Bible, uh, there's always a preface page at the beginning of each book that will kind of give you some background on who the author is and uh, what's going on uh, in that particular um, you know, book or chapter. So I'd encourage you to pick up a Study Bible. Uh, they make a Kindle version of this as well, which is fantastic. I love using the Kindle version uh, because I can just click on the, each verse individually and see notes pop up for it. Uh, and if you don't want to shell out that much money for a study Bible, there is an $18 version. It's the student study Bible that the ESV puts out. You can just look that up on Amazon as well. Uh, it says student, but I would recommend it for anyone. It's something that uh, will also just give you a lot of context, give you a lot of 
uh, things that you wouldn't normally just pick up on reading scripture alone. So I want to encourage you, get a study Bible as you're reading the Bible this year so that you can get more out of it. The fourth thing that I tell you to do to enhance your Bible study is to uh, get a journal. Just get something that you can write in as you read Scripture because there are things that are going to uh, stick out in your mind, things that you find in the text that will kind of shed light on uh, on you know what God's trying to tell you. And so I, I want to encourage you to write those things down throughout the year. Uh, you could just keep, make a page for each day, and as you're uh, reading the Bible, as you're listening, uh, just jot down key words that stick out to you. Uh, maybe there's a, a, a particular passage that really uh, just impacted you that day. Uh, write, write about it. Write about um, you know how that, that verse influenced you or, or how that particular Bible story reminds you of something else. But uh, use journaling to your advantage. Write it down. That way you'll always have it to look back on. You might get uh, to a later point this year, maybe in the summer or in the fall, where you remember uh, something that you had read earlier in the year and you'll have a journal to go back and and check it out, see what was there. So I want to encourage you, um, use a journal to enhance your Bible study. And then the last thing I'd tell you uh, to do whenever you want to enhance your Bible study is to share with others. Uh, part of reading scripture is not just doing it alone, but it's doing it in communion with other believers and other friends. So if there's something uh, each day that, that sticks out to you, uh, send your friend, uh, send your family member a text and say, hey, uh, I read this passage today and this verse uh, really stuck out to me. Or maybe it's a verse that you think somebody else should hear and it would be a great opportunity for you to, to be a witness to them and say, hey, you know, I read this verse today in Proverbs and I, I thought about your situation. I think this verse is something that you need to read. And so you, you can you can send it out that way. Some of you use social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can share verses uh, through those social media platforms. But just really get involved in sharing what you learn with others. Uh, bring it up in your daily conversations, at the dinner table, with your family. Uh, talk about what you're reading. The more you talk about it, the more you share with others, uh, the more scripture will actually become ingrained in your life and in your daily living. And so uh, scripture was designed to, um, to not only enhance us individually, but to help us grow together uh, as we grow closer to God. So that's it. Those are five uh, quick tips for you uh, to enhance your Bible study. Uh, I know uh, today we're uh, uh, January 9th, so we're, we're, we're going pretty strong into this Bible study now. If you have fallen behind, don't get discouraged. Uh, just double up on some chapters for a few days and catch up. But I want to encourage you to continue to get in God's Word as we look forward to the year of 2020 and engaging God uh, through the spiritual disciplines. See you guys this Sunday. Have a good rest of the day, good rest of the week.